What's up CompSci community? Today we're working on exercise number six in the third chapter of starting out with Python. It says, the date, June 10th, 1960, is special because when it's written in the following format, the month times the day equals the year. So we have June 10th, 1960. And this is the format that they want us want it in. Uh, and it's special because six times 10 equals 60. Now this is apparently a magic date. So they want us to design a program that asks the user to enter a month, a day, and a two-digit year. And the program should determine whether the month times the day equals the year. So that would make it uh, a magic date. And we're going to obviously return something back to the user saying so. Otherwise, we're going to tell the user that it's not a magic date. So uh, we have three steps here that I laid out for us. Step number one, we're going to prompt the user for this numeric month, day, year and then we're going to multiply the month times the day and then we're going to test it whether it, um, this is actually a magic date or not. So the first thing that we're going to grab is the month and it's going to be of type int because you're not going to have half a month, right? It's not going to be like January 0.5. Um, so grab the input, enter a month numerically I always put this B in numerically. I don't know why. Okay. And we'll even give them a range here. We're going to say 1 through 12. Okay. We're going to do the same thing with the day. Variable called day. Also going to be an integer. Enter a day. This B, I can't escape it numerically. Okay. And I'm going to give them a range of 1 through 31. And we're going to make a year. Also type int. Okay, so we have our three variables, month, day, and year, and they should be in this format. So now we can go ahead and actually convert this, calculate it. We're going to make a new variable called magic, and we're going to set it equal to month times day. And we're just going to first print a message back to the user letting them know what date they actually entered. So we're going to say, you entered a date of Okay, so if you're not familiar with this backslash here, when you're making a single statement and it takes up multiple lines, you want to just put this backslash indicating to the program that the line actually continues, or the statement actually continues on the next line. So what we have here is we have a statement that says, you entered a date of, and then it just prints the, the date back to them in, in th the correct format, and we're converting these integers into strings as we do it. So that's it for that step. So we can go on to step number three, test if month times day equals year, and if so, it's going to be a magic date. So we say if magic is equal to year, then we're going to print that is a magic date, and we can give an exclamation point because we're excited about it. Else, we're going to print 
that is not a magic date. We can give him a little frowny face. So we're sad. It's not a magic date. Okay. All right. So that should be it. Let's save it and run it. Let's see how that works. Enter a month numerically, one through twelve. Well, let's give two for February uh, a month. Let's say ten. Uh, a day, I mean, and enter a year. Well, it is 2020. The year, uh, the uh, you entered a date of 2 10 20, and that is a magic date. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so let's try and make one that's not a magic date. Uh, let's try 2 11 20. And it says you entered a date of 2-11-20, and that is not a magic date. So that's it. That's all we're supposed to do from this program. I hope you got something out of it. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up below and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week. All right. Take care.